Good morning and welcome back to Morning Express right here on KTN. I'm Sophia Wanuna. Now last month the curtains fell on the ultimate challenge weight loss edition that was airing right here on KTN, a KTN production. And the winner out of that competition is with us in studio, John Hadulo, uh, winner of that uh, competition last month. And as we get to see our guest in studio, he's in my extreme, on my extreme left. Next to him is Jack Amamo, who was the host of the ultimate Ultimate challenge and also a participant. Uh, Salim Said, also a contestant, is next to him, and Eric Kopembe, who was a chief trainer, or if you like, torturer, uh, torturing the weight off of the contestants, perhaps. Gentlemen, thank you all for joining us uh, today. John, I'll begin with you winning that. Did you think at the beginning you would win, come out tops? Well, I've won uh, several things, but uh, with <laughs> the ultimate challenge, yeah. it was a real challenge. Uh, I mean, you could not be sure of winning. Uh, it was a challenge that, uh, like no other. So basically, all the contestants were doing their job. The coaches were doing their job, and basically, uh, the, the parameters were also very tough. So no one would come into that challenge and say it's winning. All right, so joining the competition, how heavy were you? Well, we had two weights because one for Panari, when we started, mm -hmm. I was uh, 142. And by the end of the competition? By the end of the uh, competition, I was uh, 95. Total of quick mathematics, I'm sure you know the figure already. Yeah, the, the figure, the official figure was uh, 41. But there's that five. Out. Yeah, there's that five, so it is about 46 from 46. Panari. Amazing. Congratulations. Yeah, we'll talk you. more about uh, what we are doing with the money. <laughs> Omama, we spoke before the competition began, yes. and the choice for you to not only host the show, but be part of. How was the experience for you? It was amazing. Yeah? You know, um, first of all, working out with other people who are overweight, that's a big plus because you feel like you're a part of a community mm -hmm. and you encourage each other. Okay. Um, I don't think I'd have managed to lose as much weight. And can I just say, uh, first of all, congratulations to John. I didn't think he would win. Really? Um, looking from day one, I mean, he was, um, you know, struggling a great deal. And I, ne I never thought that he would be, you know, the top contender. Mm -hmm. um, it only became clear after a month in that he was serious, you know, about what he was doing. And um, we would, we would, uh, we had a mini competition, which he clearly won. Mm -hmm. uh, so losing weight on the show was fantastic. Yeah. I just think it was a blessing. How much weight did you lose? I lost 34.7 kilograms. Wow. Yeah, so um, not too bad. Not too, no, that's good. That's a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sally, what about you? Um, the experience was amazing. Um, working out together as a team. It's something that uh, really encouraged us to work out hard because we had already uh, known about weight loss and we were into that program. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't easy doing it alone. So coming together as an ultimate challenge and uh, doing it together was a plus. At what point were you eliminated? I mean, that, did that discourage you or did you still continue with perhaps healthy living, working out? I was eliminated in the semi-finals, mm -hmm. yeah, but it never discouraged me. This is something I decided to do. It is a decision that I, I made alone. It is a choice that I, 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 I arrived at and I never quit. Yeah. How yeah. much, how, how much uh, weight did you lose? Total, I've lost 24 kgs. 24? Yeah. So, Eric, you, I know you've trained me once and you're like heavy on one to really just push themselves and go the whole uh, hog. How was the experience for you training this? How many were there in total at the beginning, by the way? Uh, initially, we were eight, 34, 34, 34 people. Mm -hmm. Then we narrowed to 18. Mm -hmm. Then uh, from there, we started eliminating two, one, two, yeah. like that, yeah. So what kind of schedule or workout plan is it you had to come up with? Is it different for different groups of people, different weights? Actually, the experience was uh, really tough for me. Mm -hmm. I, I had sleepless nights. Why? Because uh, you see now here, we have a total of 18 people who want to lose weight, and the whole nation is looking at you. It's like, is Eric going to make it to make these guys lose weight? So you felt it was like on you, the burden? Yes, the burden was on me. 
because okay the doctors were there the nutritionists were there some other people were there by the end of the day it is their trainer so if they don't if they don't lose weight it's like who was their trainer so that's why i had sleepless night yeah but um every time i used to come up with programs every time i used to think of programs and actually the programs were very tough as i was going by the word challenge you see you challenge your body to lose weight mm. you don't just go you know go to the gym come with yourself go to the gym no we came up with different challenges all together yeah. and that's why Hadula managed to i think to break the kenyan record up to 46 point something kilos in less than four months wow. the challenges were really tough and uh, as the name goes by uh, eric AKA the torturer, yeah. I really tortured them, really but in a, in a nice way. In a nice way. Yes. So, John, have you added any weight since? Have you weighed yourself? Or have well, you lost more? Uh, I should have gone down because uh, I, uh, I'm still in the program. Well, so what does the pro when you say the program, what does it entail? Yeah, it does uh, entail, uh, one, uh, we have nutrition. Uh, basically, I'm still on one meal a day. And um, I do exercise every day. Mm -hmm. I do eight kilometers in the morning. But hold sometimes. on, one meal a day, that sounds like starving. That sounds uh, unhealthy. Is no, that right? It, it depends with um, how you, you take your meal, because basically that's not starving. You know, Sophia, when you talk about starving, you're talking about somebody's dying. Uh, starving like has the starving your body if you're not giving it enough. No, starving has a connotation of dying. Okay. What is happening is that our nutritionists, uh, basically uh, the, the eminent uh, San, Mr. Uh, Dr. Sanimo, told us, yes, after you have gained so much weight, then your body has, uh, well, the, the trick here is that your body must now use the food that it has stored. And uh, he put us on a one meal a day program. You have your breakfast in the morning, uh, maybe a light one, but you have um, before four by midday, you have a good meal. Then in the evening, you can only take some fluids. That that's is about that, Jack, because somebody watching that would be concerned because, again, on the other hand, that's one nutritionist. Others would advocate for many more little meals in between. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when yeah. somebody talks about one meal, some would be concerned about that method. Well, very quickly, I just have to say, um, yes, there are very many plans, meal plans out there, mm -hmm. but they won't work for everyone. Okay. okay? Um, John found one that worked well for him. I, you know, that wouldn't have worked for me. I, I ate, I think, more than most of the, the contestants. <laughs> and I'll, I'll talk about it. Mm -hmm. um, I'd always eat my meats, you know. Um, I'd have chicken and fish in the morning. Mm -hmm. or, or, you know, at least five, four to five days in a week I'd eat my meats. Something that the nutritionist did not want. But I knew that the vegetable plan, uh, the vegetarian meal plan, would not work for me. Um, so what John has said worked for him. Remember, the meal plans are guides, okay? Our bodies are different. Some people will eat heavy in the morning and throw up because they, they can't handle it. And um, while others will be quite fine mm -hmm. with a heavy um, breakfast. So you have to find what will work for you. You know, it's just like they say, you need to consult. And um, when you consult, you're told, try this. How is that working? Not working for you, perhaps you could change. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching out there, you know, you still can lose weight without necessarily only having one meal in a day. Yeah. You know, you can have as many as five little ones or three. It just depends. But you need to find out what works for you um, as you're being monitored, or at least monitoring yourself. Salim, what, uh, in terms of your nutrition, how was it? My, the nutrition part was actually one of the biggest challenge to, uh, I think, all of the contestants. Because mm -hmm. uh, you're just being told to stop taking the things that you, you used to like in your life, taking snacks, junk food, you're talking about chips and fries, you know, chicken, uh, meat stuff. Generally, you're being told, stop taking animal products. But I think that was a move, it was a surgical move to make sure that we lost enough weight throughout the whole program. Just like Jack has said, you can balance what you're taking in, in portions, mm -hmm. and uh, you put on some healthy stuff because we were put through some program of uh, awareness about what you can take healthy foods i think if you if you do healthy food it doesn't matter you have to take only one meal a day i don't think you can even take two three 
but you do it in a healthy way you're good to go you're good to go yeah so eric um when it comes to working out how many times are you first working out during the competition mm, actually we're working out uh, just once mm -hmm. really uh, yeah just once in a day oh once in a day yeah, one, once, one, once a week no <laughs> okay. once in a day not yeah. once in a week but even that once in a day it was like guys felt like uh, it was uh, three four times in a day how many hours uh, it was uh, one between one hour to two hours mm -hmm. yeah depending on the on the workout so what is the advice now also for people at home who want to lose weight in terms of workouts simple things people can do at home yeah actually not necessarily people at home not necessarily that you have to go to the gym mm -hmm. to lose weight but if you can you can you can do a lot of exercise even in your house okay uh, let's say, for example, I know people, people at home can afford a skipping rope. Mm -hmm. Just buy a skipping rope and skip in the house maybe a thousand times you know, every day. Uh, take a small mattress, do a few sit-ups here and there, or uh, take a walk, or even jog around the, the, the estate. I mean, that's part of the exercise, and you'll be able to lose weight. Also, do swimming. If you have a, a pool next to you, go for swimming. Okay? There are so many challenges. Go, go for mountain climbing. Yeah. yeah. But for people who are overweight, the biggest challenge is always to start because you feel like there's so much weight to lose. You're like, ah, okay, because you work out for one week, there's no change because it does take a while. So what is that encouragement? What were you telling them to push them? And somebody who would want to do uh, their own program, what do you tell them? What will motivate them that, yes, it's, you have to put in the work, it might take long, but it has to be done? Actually, the very first day for this team, in fact, uh, Jack is my witness, <coughs> he's laughing. I just told them just to stand and lift up their knees about 40, 50 times. And they were so tired, they were sweating, they were, you know, they could not even move, you know. So when you are starting and you're overweight, don't push yourself to the maximum. Mm. Start with a workout of maybe 20 minutes today, tomorrow go to in five minutes, next week go to 30 minutes, you know, you start slowly as you build up your stamina. Okay. Then from there, after some time, you'll be able to push yourself up to the wall. Yeah, well said, because some will start with the two hours and then tomorrow they cannot even wake up. Yes, yes. John, how much was the, or what was the prize money and were there other uh, goodies that came along with that and uh, what's the plan? Yeah, yeah, first and foremost, I would want, I would like to thank uh, the standard group, mm -hmm. especially KTN, for having come up with that program. Uh, the money was important, yes, but uh, one thing that I must uh, admit is that I've conquered obesity. And uh, when I came in, I had high blood pressure. Today, the doctors are very, very uh, happy that uh, I have the heartbeat of uh, an athlete. So basically, that is one thing that I want to thank standard uh, group. Uh, finally, I won, and I'm also happy because I did win. I want to to say that it is the other contestants who pushed me to lose so many kilos. I, I've been failing to lose those kilos on my own, but when I came in a competition where we had other competitors and there was prize money, I, I made it. Um, the money uh, I received, and I'm happy because KTN uh, kept their side of the bargain because you can win a competition and then they tell you yes you've won but again now that you don't have high blood pressure I mean <laughs> you don't need the money but I got the money and uh, 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 of course the government took 300,000 as tax I've uh, paid my tithe at 150 so the rest uh, my wife, uh, we had agreed that uh, me, I go for this competition and I really wanted to do something about my weight. Okay. But for her, uh, she said the money is good for us. So basically, uh, she's, uh, she's working on something. All right. Yeah. Our time is up, but Jack, very quickly, what is the plan for you to keep the weight off? Uh, right. Uh, there's no shortcut. You have to watch what you eat. Mm -hmm. It's very important. For many of us, that was a downfall, what we put in our mouths, okay? So I'm watching what I eat. And yes, I'm exercising. It's just that it's not as extreme as Ultimate Challenge was, because mm -hmm. that was extreme. So my plan is to watch what I eat um, and to exercise. And that's, 
that should get me through. To, yeah. Salim, do you want to lose more weight? Or what's the plan? Yeah. I want to have six packs. Okay. <laughs> Are you working towards it? I'm really working towards it. Yeah. Okay. I never stop. Working out, eating right? Yeah. That's People should do what, Eric, to ensure they're healthier? Because being small does not necessarily mean you're healthy. Mm. Yeah. yeah uh, maybe before I answer that... Uh, Very this, briefly. Okay. Our time is up. Yeah, these guys were just... Uh, Serving as an example to the Kenyans, mm -hmm. what Kenyans are supposed to do. They should go everywhere. Like I can see now, people like when you go to Nyayo, Ibakas, there are moms there working out during, I mean, at night. People are really into fitness. So, people at home, my encouragement is whether you are small, whether you are fat, whether you are big, or whatever, you really have to uh, do exercise. I remember. I used to train you. Yes. And guys and I were still saying train, yeah. and guys were saying, Why are you working out and yet you are very small? Yeah. You should go home and rest because you are laughing at uh, people who are fat. But actually I was not laughing, you, yes. Okay. <laughs> but actually you know the benefits of exercise. Yes. So whether you are small, you are tiny, you are forty kilos, you are one forty, one fifty, one sixty, please work out. Work out. Do exercise. 24 7. Yeah, and I'm the biggest champion for that. It makes you feel very good. You healthier, feel good. you feel good, yes. clears your mind. But I must ask you this, Jack, you are hosting Food Haven program. Are you still planning to do that? Because that could be challenging. <laughs> <laughs> I've been asked that a lot. Yeah. My passion for food has not um, gone, okay? I, I love food. And uh, yes, I'll still be eating delicious food. It's just that now my concern is how to get healthy food uh, exciting. Because it is, t you know, you do get he healthy, tasty foods out yeah. there. So the challenge is to bring that out, which will not be too much of a challenge because I love cooking. I love trying out new things. So um, let's just wait and see what will come out of. Yeah. Yeah, what will come out of we'll it. But my watching. passion for food is still top. Top. Yeah. It's good to love food. I mean, you have to enjoy the food just to remember, keep fit, keep uh, exercising. Thank you all for joining us and the very best to you. Um, and thank you also for watching the show this Thursday. Has been a great pleasure to be part of your morning. You've had it from the Ultimate Challenge uh, team, at least the past Ultimate Challenge ended last month. You can always do it. It's all about putting your mind to it, having your own challenge, a uh, little challenge at home. You can get a couple of friends like I do and do your own little thing and it works and it'll keep you going. Thank you for watching. I'm Sophia Wanuna. We'll see you tomorrow.